This is exercise 9.2, configuring round robin, which is part of lab 9, configuring DNS records, located as part of the uh, Microsoft Official Academic Course, administering Windows Server 2012 R2, in preparation for exam 70-11. By default, the DNS round robin is enabled. Round robin operates by providing one DNS server IP address to a given query, then provides a different IP address for the next query, and so on, until a configured list of DNS server IP addresses runs out. The last query causes a loop around to the first IP address and begins the sequence over again. In this exercise, you create two resource records to demonstrate round robin switching between two separate DNS IP addresses. The mindset behind this is that round robin is a DNS balancing mechanism that distributes network load balancing among servers by rotating service records retrieved from a DNS server. The approximate lab time for this is 10 minutes. <clears throat> so I'm going to go a little bit out of order. For question 14 and question 15, the addresses that are going to be returned are the 192.168.1.205 and 192.168.1.206 for both. So both of these answers are basically the same. All right, so let's get started. We still, if you are continuing this video from the previous video, we already have DNS Manager Console open. So we're going to go to a datum.com and right click, and we're going to click on New Host, and we are going to type in web and then 192.168.1.205 and then add host and then we're going to do 192.168.1 oops this is also going to be web and this is going to be 192.168.1.206 and then add host, and then OK, and then done. And if we click here, do our F5, you'll now see that we have two pointers for webadatum.com. <clears throat> now we also need to create, right click, an alias. So the alias is going to be w, WEB, and then the fully qualified domain. I'm going to click on Browse this time, forward, datum, no I'm not, cancel, cancel. Alright, we're going to go ahead and open up the command prompt admin in this lookup 192.168.1.205 and you'll see it's going to the web data datum ns lookup 192.168.1.206 enter also with the name of web datum now we're going to do ns Look up web.datum.com. And here we have the two addresses. <clears throat> and if we do it again, it should be reversed. NS look up web datum.com yes and it does it does reverse and each time we do it it reverses this is just a load balancing tool all right and that is the end of this exercise and the end of this video and the next video we'll get into exercise 9.3 which is configuring zone scavenging